Uh, in our case, the increase in milk production is, uh, I would say, around 1.5 kilos as it comes out directly from the milking system. However, we also have results here from the Federation evaluation as we belong to this group. And right here in this summary, you can clearly see in which months, that is the months when the increase in milk occurred and in what situations for individual cows. Hello, welcome. We are in the village of Kletschkovo in the Trozin municipality, Ostrowenka County. My name is Mariusz Jankowski and together with my wife, we run a dairy farm. Currently, there are 92 dairy cows in the barn, including dry cows. The rest are simply heifers and calves aged between one and two years. That's about another 70 head. Overall, we manage about 90 hectares of land. We are in a barn built in 2017. Initially, it was a barn for 65 head, but due to the growth in milk production, a hall was added two years ago. It's at the back, a tunnel type structure that also fulfills its role in milk production. It is a deep bedded area where, for example, weaker animals, sick ones or fresh calvers are driven to recover so they can return to the main part of the barn. This barn is the main barn built on slats with mattresses in the cubicles. Inside there is a 2A6 herringbone type milking parlor, fans, a grooming brush, and that's why we also invested in convenience and installed a robot for pushing feed. Uh, I decided to purchase this device just as I previously purchased the Viper from Euromilk because it aerates the feed. Simply put, the feed is tossed, which is particularly important on hot days. In summer, when the feed gets aerated, everything is mixed, carefully collected from the aisle, and then tossed again as if fresh feed had just been served. That's why I didn't even consider any other company when it came to feed pushing, because I was also interested in the fact that it aerates the feed, where everything is thoroughly mixed and the cows eagerly eat it. Uh, we decided to purchase the lizard robot specifically for pushing feed because we simply lack the manpower for such consistent work. And previously we also used the Viper from Euromilk for a loader, which was used to push feed three to four times a day. And this of course took some time. Someone had to be at home, get into the loader and simply push the feed. And at night unfortunately this wasn't done. That's why we decided to purchase this device, so the feed would be pushed consistently all the time. Now the robot goes out 12 times a day. It has delivered great results, as our milk production has increased by approximately 1.5 kilos per cow. The animals have responded very well to this change. Moving from a manual system to an automated feed pushing system, weaker cows can now reach the feed table and find something good for themselves instead of having only leftovers after stronger cows. Feeding occurs three times a day with five kilos set each time. In my opinion, this is a small amount for such a herd. It's simply an encouragement. We use the cheapest feed to avoid causing inflammation in the better performing cows that have already adapted to the system and just wait for it. When it comes to bulk feed usage, it has slightly increased because it's pushed every two hours on average here. The cows always have feed in front of them, so they eat more. That's why there are practically no leftovers anymore. Granulated feed is also used at about 5 kilos per 60 meters, which is very little. It's applied three times a day. We add more approximately every two or three days, depending on how much is left. The cost of this feed is simply the cheapest. It costs about 1,400 PLN. So when you calculate the income from the milk produced, it compensates for the labor costs and the cost of the device. We also noticed that automatic feed pushing gives freshly calved cows access to the feed alley. In our herd, better cows always reach the feed table first. However, weaker cows, which previously lost milk or didn't have access because they were pushed away from the feed barrier, now have access and always have fresh feed in front of them. These cows have also increased their milk production 
Thanks to the robot which passes every two hours, cows that are already full do not come back to the table while those waiting in line can freely access the feed and eat. Thanks to this, cows that were previously in worse condition have now started producing more milk and you can see the increase in milk production. Uh, in our case, the increase in milk production is, I would say, around 1.5 kilo as it comes out directly from the milking system. However, we also have results here from the Federation evaluation as we belong to this group. And right here in this summary, you can clearly see in which months, that is the months when the increase in milk occurred. And in what situations for individual cows. Here, for example, there's a freshly calved cow that was later better fed. There's a cow that's already being milked and will soon enter the dry period. And here's another cow that started producing more milk sometime after calving. These are significant benefits for us as well as for the farm. The device pays for itself and will cover its cost. Uh, the installation of this device was very quick. Once it was placed in its designated spot, the installation of the inductive loop in the floor began. This process went very smoothly thanks to the team from EM. They set up two loops. One loop runs through the entire barn, including the hall. And another is designed so that if there are severe frosts and the hall needs to be closed and not used, the second loop inside the barn will still push feed on both sides.